Okay, today as we're going the second mile, we are going to get right into Matthew 5, 9, which is in the Beatitudes, and it says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Peacemakers. It does not say peace lovers. You know what? There is a big, big difference between a person who loves peace, a person who is a peaceful person, and a person who makes peace. You know what? We all love the idea of peace. We all love it. We're not all peaceful people. Some of us love the idea, but we are not peaceful at all. And some of us, we're peaceful and we love the idea of peace, but we have no idea how to take two people who can't agree and make peace. We don't know how. But God says, blessed are the peace makers. Okay? Not just that two people are fighting and arguing and debating and you stand back and you think, no, I love peace, so I'm not going to get involved. God, God is saying, peacemakers, you take the hand of one and you take the hand of the other and you bring them back together. You reconcile them. Those are the ones who are sons of God. And you know why? Because that's what Jesus did. Jesus took the hand of the Father and the hand of man and brought them back together. He made a way for peace. Okay? So let's also look at James 3.18, and it says, peacemakers, okay, we just talked about that, peacemakers who sow in peace will reap a harvest of righteousness. So you know what that tells me? First of all, a peacemaker cannot just be a peacemaker unless he is making peace. He has to actually be active, not just think about peace, not just be wanting peace, not even just be praying for peace, but he should be actively pursuing peace. That person, the peacemaker who sows in peace, he's going to reap a harvest of righteousness. So it matters to God how we sow our seeds. If we sow our seeds, just throw them on the ground and we just dig a hole, shove them in, put dirt. Don't expect to be reaping a harvest of righteousness because that is not sowing in peace. Okay? Sometimes we sow the right seed with the wrong heart. We sow out of frustration or anger. Maybe the right words, but it's not in peace. You are not going to receive the harvest that you want, that peaceful harvest of righteousness. So it matters how we sow. Even Gandhi said, peace is its own reward. Totally true. Last week we even talked about that peace is very costly, but it's worth the effort. Okay? So first thing is we have to pursue peace. Okay? Don't settle for less than peace. Don't just be like, well, that's how it is. The world is this way. It's the way it is. Que sera, sera. No. Pursue the things that make for peace. And then be a person who makes peace. And then secondly, be a person who gives peace as a gift wherever you go. Okay? Peace is a gift. Jesus gave his peace to us. We can choose to give that peace to others. So, going the second mile. What kind of person are you going to be? You're going to just love peace? You're going to just be peaceful all by yourself in your own little corner, listening to praise and worship music. Nobody has any interaction with you, so you're just peaceful. Are you going to be a person who takes that inner peace, goes out into the world, and makes peace? Be a peacemaker.